Why weren't you fucking rolling then? So he wants to do an unboxing, and of course, like I'm like, oh, let's do it over here, it's safe, and the box falls right into three guitars. I'm like, three, three in one shot! Just fuck him up! Great! One comes in, and another one leaves. It's like karma. Whatever you do, you get back times three. Except fucking broken! I was just informed that people that open boxes with knives like this are crazy, but I'll tell you, I, I adult, because these are um, cal Calphalon, and I can tell you that on Amazon, they were first off not fucking cheap and very highly rated, and if you spend over $200 on knives, you're a fucking adult, and entitled to buy fucking guitars frivolously. If you can afford nice salt shakers and nice knives, you know, maybe you can afford a PRS too. First off, Kudos to the motherfucker for packing this because as Jim knows the other day, I got a guitar literally saran wrapped and just fucking left for dead at my door at like eight o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, like ring my door. But I'm like, what is going on? I was very confused. This is how you fucking wrap a guitar. You put it in. So like if someone goes, like my, like my buddy, he said, it, it, oh, it can't damage. No, it didn't. You're a fucking moron. Look at that. That is someone being a pack rat. They've kept this shit in their attic. I'm that guy. I'm that guy that keeps that shit in my attic. I love all this stuff. I'm gonna pack it all up. Pack it all up. It's all fucking gold. Have you gone to fucking FedEx and seen how much this is? This is like a fucking semester of school. They're like, oh, that's $800 for fucking bubble wrap. All right. The reason I bought this one, in the non-original PRS case, because clearly this is an acoustic case. Okay, not upset. I got a 10 top McCarty soap bar, and they're not the most desirable ones, but I got it for like a really good price. And what people don't realize is even though some guitar tops look like they're a 10, collectors want it to say 10. Like how come you can't just pass that one off as a 10? Because it doesn't say 10, it has to say 10. 10. Does it mean it's better? No. That's like me going, hey, that girl's a fucking 10. And you're like, dude, I fucked sevens hotter than that. Like that, it's the same thing. Let's see what we got here, man. Um, do you see like the shaking? The shaking? All right. Oh, look at, look at that. Look at that packing. Look at that packing. That's like, don't fuck with me. And it also says I put it in the wrong size case. I'll keep the case for something else. Got plenty of PRS cases. See, I'm gonna damage this more trying to just rip this fucking open than him trying to save me from rip. Dude, really? Okay, this is just, this is neurotic. But, okay. Well, first off, I'm gonna immediately have to fix this because that's gonna drive me nuts because no matter how awesome this guitar is, I, I, I'm gonna look at this and I'm just gonna be like, but why, but why, but why? And you meet somebody and you're just like subtly don't know how to be like, so how did you lose your arm? I know I shouldn't be uncomfortable. Like I shouldn't be uncomfortable, but have you not hung out with me? Like we, I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable by myself. Why would you do this to such a beautiful guitar? But that said, let's take a look. First off, I love the swirlies. The mahogany on this looks just, it, it, it looks like you're tripping. Like, you know, you got a good dose before the dead show. And it's just, it's got like a, a 3D kind of thing to it. I'm not gonna say the best 10 top because PRS, like, like any other company, Gibson, Fender, totally fucking all over the map, but uh, I actually don't even think this top is as good as the um, Santana, which we're gonna talk about at some other point soon. But this is a non-10 top, which was sold to me as a 10 top. I gotta say it's a little better. I mean, I love this top and this top's nice too, but like, I don't necessarily think that this is like a ridiculous 10 top where I go, that looks like a 10 top and it's not. Why? I don't even know what bathroom to go into anymore. I'm fucking confused. All right, I feel like we need to explore where this guitar is at sonically. I mean, she's certainly beautiful and no question for the price I paid. Awesome. But worth keeping around? I do not know yet. Oh, look at that. Fell right off. Sweet. Cool. Good sign. Let's go. Fucking, well, first off, where the goddamn not motherfucker? I have other knobs. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Pause. You know what's one of my fucking favorite sayings? It's from literally the, one of the most important speakers of our fucking time. 
Judge fucking Judy. She says, people are like blueberries. You have one bad blueberry and it and a bunch of good blueberries. And it it doesn't make the good blueberries make the bad blueberries good. It makes the bad blueberries make everything bad! Everything's like a fucking blueberry! You know what I'm like? When you send me a guitar with a fucking broken knob, I'm like a blueberry. I am the fucking bad blueberry in society walking around going, why? It's like when you go to the fucking grocery store and you get fucking strawberries and you like, you wait one day, like 36 hours. You go back to the fucking refrigerator and that shit has mold. Maybe in California, other than the fucking fires, you have fresh produce. Like out here in Boston, if you don't eat that shit within 24 fucking hours, it's disgusting. I have to prepare for the worst. That's why I have to eat my fruit quickly. I have to have extra speed knobs with grips on them so that when I put this on, instead of letting that ruin my fucking day. And just by the way, if you ever get a fucking electric person, ele electric electrician, is that what they're calling you guys nowadays? Oh, you guys, now they're fucking pissed off. Fucking ground my shit right. Do you hear that? Do you hear that noise? That's like fucking 40 hertz. Excuse me, it's actually 62 hertz. Other rumor that's not true is you actually don't need to really detune a guitar a ton to ship it and have it not break the neck. I think Gibson only tunes down a half step. I know somebody who actually broke a 1940s Martin D28 by sending it through the mail and snapping the headstock. And I'm using a Kemper right now with a bargain profile and... They get single coils, doesn't it? Isn't that what a McCarty's supposed to do? Am I crazy? Oh, these are P90s. They are single coils. I'm literally trying to tap a P90. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Now I gotta tell you, this is pretty snappy sound. Nice and buttery. I gotta tell you, it's not that loud as far as output but obviously to be expected from p90s but like drives the amp great they're not they're noisy like normal p90s but they get rewarded with tone though so sometimes i like to play certain things that i think that just kind of exemplify tone so i'm a big fan of like Zach Wilde, you know, early years, especially in particular, like Mama, I'm coming home. And I also think it's a great way to tell like the intonation on a guitar. So I never understood 315 on foreign lawful carnal knowledge. Now, like, again, most of these fucking millennials are like, what is that? Well, there's a band called Van Halen and there's a band called Van Hagar. I'm from a school of Van Hagar, so I liked Van Hagar. But original Van Halen people, like, got eruption for crazy guitar solos from Van Halen on the record. And then if you're like me and you're a punk and your first Van Halen record is for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, which came out in 1991 and fucking has right now, and it's a great record. He plays this thing called 315 on it. And for years I was like, why does Eddie Van Halen waste eight minutes of a guitar solo playing this? And then I realized it's cause it's, it's his demo for tone. He's like, hey man, you guys all want to hear the brown sound? <laughs> the brown sound, cause that's Eddie's sound. Thank you. 
obviously, not Eddie Van Halen. Not playing with a bunch of fucking crazy delay because I'm not going to hide behind the fact that I'm mediocre at best. I actually, in fact, I've been called the lower side of ideal. Although, try running that past your girlfriend. <laughs> How was that, baby? It was the lower side of ideal. The uh, tone on this is not the lower side of ideal. I would say that this is pretty fucking great. This is not the best one. This is not my favorite. It doesn't have the wide, thin neck, but it's got like a, a nice fucking feel to it. It's not too chunky. And it's, it's just a great, great guitar. It's cool that it says it's a 10 top because I wouldn't have thought it was. Um, makes it su super more valuable to collectors. It's a little ding and danged up, but it's also 2004. It's not a 10 top, unless it's an artist, which means it's above a 10 top and you probably know what the fuck that is if you have one because they're ridiculously expensive or private stock. This right here, four, stands for 1984, 1994, or 2004. And you can tell, obviously, because you can find out that this is a 2000 uh, in, so that's 2004. But you know, if you wanna know what your PRS is other than a CE, which I don't really care about because it's a bolt on and fuck those, that's how you know. And it says 10 top right on it. It's, it's, it's very clear marketing. Cause here's the thing, man. Again, it's like me saying that this is USDA choice. Who at the USDA is making motherfucking choices about my goddamn steak? How come I could go to Market Basket and get a pound for $3.99 on the bone, which Bobby Flay says all the fucking time is way more delicious, and then I go and I fucking go to Shaw's, and it's USDA choice, $14.99, and it's this little fucking thin shit, and it doesn't taste that fucking good. Who is choosing? Fucking Ray Charles? Oh! And in this case, it worked out for me because if I ever was to trade this or try to sell it, um, it makes it more appealing to collectors. Although again, it's in a condition that you would expect to see from a 16 year old guitar, like a uh, knob that doesn't work right and missing stuff and little battle scars and all that. But I mean, overall, it looks like it, it was more of like just a, a guy that sat at his house and probably beat the shit out of it like when it fell over in front of his girlfriend. Cause normally you can tell, like you, it's like fucking forensics, man. Like this guy, if he was playing on stage all the time in a cover band, he, he, there'd be belt buckle marks because like we all wear belts. Like it's just like, you know how many bracelets I have? They're like, they're fucking getting exponentially more with fucking rings and shit. As we can tell, cause I'm clearly fucking Matlock over here. Narotlock, okay? Narotlock, trademark that shit. Narotlocks for the back of your guitar tuners. Get the new Rotlocks. You wanna know how you know you're good? Cause this fucking weirdo is like, Make sure they're awesome! If I told you what I got this for, it's offensive. It's offensive. And like, I feel bad because like, there's people that like, follow me online that like, I've bought guitars from. And just understand if you do stupid shit, like, I'll call you out. Like, I love you too. Like, thanks for giving me a good deal. Thanks for being my friend. Thanks for following me. Thank you for subscribing, which you should be fucking doing if you haven't already. Like, there's already like, at least seven of you. Like, my mom only has so many Gmail accounts. Like, help a brother out, bro. If you think what I'm saying is prudent and important and you want to take some time while you're on your iPhones or maybe you're a Galaxy guy, I'm um, taking a shit at your work going, why does my life suck? But all I want to do is see some guitar porn and just know, does that sound good? Like... <laughs> We've talked about this. You want to know why I like the McCarty first off? Three-way. It's a three-way. First off, do you want a five-way? You want a three-way. You've been thinking about it. Five-way? That sounds fucking complicated. Three-way! Keep it simple! No push-pull as I try to pull it off. You want to know why? Because it's fucking single coils. Why don't you fucking smash that subscribe button already? <laughs>